We decide when and where we will go. Right here, this team, right now, every step. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank and by UVA Health System and by GEICO and by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly. At the end of the day, we just got to keep going, getting better, uh, focusing on improving and, and, and continuing to take a great journey together all the way through the year. Two pitch to Ratlin. Swung on, hit back right to the mound. Spores to second for one. Greg Nanny to first in time. 35 34. Heaven shakes in the airway. Anderson launches up a three. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Aaron Vieira from the tennis team. We've got some great stories for you from Virginia Athletics. First, we'll take a look at highlights from men's basketball's NIT quarterfinal matchup with Iowa. Picks up right where he left off with three shot blocks. Root near wing. Takes it into the paint. Beats it out. Jesperson puts up a contested three. And he bangs it home from the left wing. Virginia's on the board. It's 4-3. to three. Iowa, the only Big Ten team to lose them all. Virginia's got the ball. Anderson launches up a three. And he cans it from the near wing. Justin Anderson feeding Jesperson. Top there. There's the steal. Stepping in front of that pass was Gasell. He's going to take it past Jesperson and lay it in for an easy bucket. Yeah, they're in the floor. Hands it off to Evans. Evans inside. Feeds back out. Anderson fires away from three. And he answers as he tickles the twine. Justin's second three ball already of the night. 30% for the year. There's another steal. Coming away with a pass and going the other way is Eric May. He's going to put the shot up in and against the window by Anderson. And then knocked out of bounds. Harris was fighting for the loose ball with McCabe. On the near wing. Puts it on the floor. Now feeds out. Cassell. Three-pointer up and good. So right now, Iowa is punishing Virginia with a long three-point shot. Played five minutes last time for Iowa. Cavaliers on the other end of the floor. Harris fading away on the baseline. Splashes it through. That's the shot we've been looking for from Joe. Creating some space. Carving off the rebound. Harris fires from three. Got it. Joe Harris now with five in the game. He's made his last two shots. The Hoos back to within one. Here's the three pointer again, Harris. This time too strong from the near wing. What a rebound by Nolte. Saves it from going out of bounds on the feed to Toby. Now to Anderson. And he knocks down the three pointer from the left wing. Justin's got three from the bonus here. And Virginia has even this game up at 23. Defensive breakdown on the other side as Marble blows by Evans and then dunks the ball with a foul. Now passes to Marble. Marble went up into the air. Anderson contested. Beats it out to Clemens and Clemens knocks down the shot. Looking to his bench and now he goes to work with 10 seconds to shoot. He moves into the front court. Hands it off to Harris. Harris launches up a three. It's on the way. Knocks it down. A big time shot from Joey Hoops in the waiting moments here at half number one. Free throw line, spinning off the defense, now hands it to Woodbury. Three to shoot, he doesn't realize it. Turns around, shot rejected by Toby. It's a shot clock violation. Shovels a pass out to Evans, now out to Anderson. Anderson up towards the three, no good. One hand rebound from Toby, missed it. Mitchell gets it back, he's blocked, and then finally Toby puts it right back up and in. Harris. May takes the pass top of the arc, beats it off. Evans stumbled, that left the opening, and Marble will make him pay as he connects on his first jumper of the night. He really can move without the ball, wraps those screens, shoots it well. He's a good player. I remember his father, who was a terrific player, and the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Evans feeds the near wing. Anderson launches up a three, and he knocks it down again. Justin Anderson with a career high, four three-pointers. The basketball after that last stoppage, starting with the ball at Clemens, the 
they set it down low. This is May. Puts up a tough shot in traffic out the window to tie this game up again. 19 seconds to shoot. Pass down low to Marble. Marble pump X. Toby stays down. Contest the shot. High arcing teardrop. My goodness, he hits it from eight feet away, and it won't get much more difficult than the shot he just made. Almost seven minutes gone in the second half. Oh, it's a turnover. Anderson just got caught between a pass and a handoff, and ultimately Clemens comes away with it. Sets up a three in a transition. Devin Marble delivers a dagger from the left wing. Pass down low now to Marble. Marble. Marble fading away with a hand in his face on the baseline off the mark, but Aaron White is there for the uncontested rebound. When uh, when they'd miss a shot, they could somehow chase it down and gave themselves uh, a lot of extended opportunities against our defense. That was wearing down as possessions uh, went on. Virginia trailing by three. Here's a three-pointer. Oglesby unloads and connects from the near wing right. Woodbury lost it, but regathers. It's six seconds to shoot. They feed it to White, who throws it down with a two-hand dunk underneath. He's going to try and drive on Woodbury. Spins down the lane, try to hand it off. They'll give it to Anderson, who lays it in with a foul. He'll have a, hopefully a real good offseason, and I love his heart and his energy. And again, we'll, um, you know, if he'll be, as we say, humble and hungry to improve, uh, he'll be a better player next year. And again, we'll be a different looking team next year. Marble defended by Jesperson on the right wing. He'll pass out top of the arc. Mays three pointer is perfect from the top of the circle. Walk out of here with your head held high. You left. You left the program in a better place than you found it. And, you know, for John Sell to be part of those years and Doug and all that, they, they should feel good about it. Okay, one thing we can say is we can see that the future is bright. Speaking of which. Just when you play against teams that are real tough, it's kind of a gut check, and you realize this is what this is like uh, in tournament basketball, desperately trying to advance to a, something significant what you need to bring and, and how it has to be done. And I think that's uh, there's some wisdom in that for us to, to motivate us to work really hard in the off season. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The baseball team hosted ACC Nemesis NC State last weekend. Here's a recap of the series sweep. As Ogburn, a couple looks at second. Fisher grounds the ball to the right side. That's through for a base hit. They're waving Cogswell around third as Fisher picks it up in right field, and Brandon Cogswell will score. Silverstein is ready to go. The kick and the pitch in there for a called strike three. He freezes Sine with a slider who throws down his helmet in frustration. Well, this is ACC baseball right here. You know, uh, they're going to be... Uh, tight ball games. Um, you know, every team in this league is very, very competitive. 3 1 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to the right side. Past the dive of Terrence Sine, the first baseman, down towards the corner. Here comes Downs into score. Pappy is in, sliding into second with an RBI double. Well, he did get a hit, a pitch to hit with the 3 and 1 count, and he didn't miss it. 2 to nothing, Virginia. No one pitch. Irving hits it through the hole on the left side. A two-out base hit for Nate Irving to give Virginia their third run of the game as Pappy comes home from third base. Taking place in Chapel Hill. One-two pitch down. Sits it out to right field. Going back on it is Fincher. He's back at the wall. Runs into the wall. It's into the seats. A home run for Brandon Downs. Solo shot into the right field bleachers. And Brandon Downs has pushed it back to a three-run lead as Downs touches the plate. It's 4-1 to one Virginia as Brett Williams, redshirt senior center fielder, chops it out to the left side. Cogswell on the move, fields and throws to first. They got him by a half a step. Now the 6-2 lefty sets and deals. Fastball over the outside corner, called strike three. Virginia sweeps the doubleheader and goes ahead and wins this weekend series by taking games one and two. You know, I just felt today for 18 innings, uh, Coach Kuhn did a great job with our, uh, our plan from a pitcher standpoint. Uh, obviously, we were very, very aggressive on the mound and attacked their hitters, and our guys executed you know, what the plan is. Field McCarthy ranging under it, now coming in a few steps, makes the catch, and a great job from Nick Howard to limit it at a one-run inning. As the pitch, there's a bunt attempt. Irving going to throw behind the runner at first, and they got him. What a play by Nate Irving to gun down Jake Fincher. 
Big spot here to try to help himself. Fastball hit right back up the middle and through for a base hit. Howard has done just that, extending his hitting streak to 10 games and bringing home the first run of the day for Virginia. A clutch two out RBI single, easily deals. 1-1 pitch line down to right center field, a base hit. They're going to wave Downs around third. He's coming towards the plate. Throw is in, but not in time. Brandon Downs slides in safely as Reed Gregnani makes it back-to-back -back two out RBI hits, and Virginia has tied this game up. It's Gregnani at third, Irving at second, Cogswell at first. As Towns lifts it out in a deep right center field, Williams going back. He'll camp under it, make the catch. Tagging from third and coming home to score is Greg Nanny. And also moving from second to third is Nate Irving as Kenny Towns really does his job picking up the RBI on the sacrifice fly. The 2-2 pitch to Ratledge. Swung on, hit back right to the mound. Spores to second for one. Greg Nanny to first in time, one to four to three. A double play. The kick and the one-two pitch swung on and missed. Virginia completes the three-game sweep as they pick up their 22nd win of the season with Crockett ending it in style. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The women's swim team competed in the NCAA championships last weekend. Here are the highlights from Indianapolis. I'm so excited. To have the best time after a whole year is just great. Like Mark said to take it out fast, so um, I took it out faster tonight and it really paid off in the end. And I'm really happy about that. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The men's tennis team continued ACC play against in-state rival Virginia Tech. Here's a recap of the match against the Hokies. We want great teams to show up every day, right? And that's what great teams do. And today your job is to play Virginia Tech, focus on Virginia Tech and only Virginia Tech until your job is completed. Right, you're playing at 5005, love 4040, love. You have the same intensity, the same focus, the same determination, the same willpower. Okay, and we do that, and we are going to send the kind of message we want 
and we become an intimidating team. I think today's a good day to start that. It would be no better than do it against the Hokies. And the sooner you start establishing that, the better we're going to be. Let's go, Julian. Come on. Energy, man. Energy. Come on. Let's go, Justin. What I thought we did well today is compete. You know, one of the things kind of made it difficult for us this year was we've gone indoors and outdoors and indoors and outdoors, which is okay. It's great for dealing with adversity, but it doesn't make for a lot of getting your rhythm, playing clean tennis. So but when you consider those factors, uh, it was pretty good. J Jameer and Mac came out with more energy than I've seen in the past. So they did a pretty good job. Two and three doubles a little bit flat, but picked it up uh, towards the end and, and we got the job done. All over this, Justin, all over it, man. Make this guy work. Let's go. That's it. locate that ball and still hit it with aggression because that's who you are. There's one, number two, here we go. Adamo overwhelmed his opponent today. He really did things on his terms and, and I'm not surprised. I think he he's starting to play a much better the last couple matches. So Mitchell, seen a lot of improvement over the course of even the last semester since he came back from his knee injury. He's doing a great job for us. A lot of energy. sink all the time, you know, on each court, but I did think we competed hard. And that's what you really, really are concerned about as a coach, which I hate to see as a guy doesn't compete. At the end of the day, we just got to keep going, getting better, uh, focusing on improving and, and, and continuing to take a great journey together all the way through the year. The football team opened spring practice last week. Here's an all-access look from the producers of Building of a Program. Keep, keep me. 
We gotta slide out with that slide. Championship on three. One, two, three. Championship! Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We have some great home games this week, so come out and support the Cavaliers. On Saturday, softball hosts Boston College. Men's lacrosse hosts ACC Power Maryland. Track and field hosts the Virginia Invitational. and baseball hosts Miami for a weekend series and VMI on Wednesday. We'll be back next week with more great stories and highlights from Virginia athletics. I'm Erin Vieira, and until next time, go Hoos. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank. In banking, there's good, better, and stellar. Visit Stellar One Bank today to see the difference and by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. And by GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.